my name is Rob Pine and I'm making a short video today to welcome you to the Red Kite Management Training Program for 2019. Now, some of you will know me because I've worked with Red Kite since 2016 on management training and team building and decision making. But for those I don't, look forward to meeting you in March when we've got two sessions for two slightly different groups. Okay? For the purpose of today's video, I wanted to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about the program and what I will deliver and my team, and also ask you for some expectations around what you're going to do to get the most out of the program, I hope. Okay? So, first of all, let's describe why we're doing this program, what problem we're trying to solve. So clearly, management is an incredibly important skill in any organization. And managers are those people that translate leadership strategy into actual actions. They're the teams, the managers are the people that engage teams, that, um, that drive the culture and get stuff done. So it's a hugely important role and Redkite has realized that. And so for the last year or so, we've been running an existing management program, which we've adapted with some, some feedback on what was working really well, what we needed to tweak into a kind of brand new iteration for 2019 of which you are a part. So, so welcome to all of you, those I don't know and, and those I know quite well already. Now, one of the tweaks we made this year to the management program was we wanted to tie it more clearly and more explicitly to Redkite's real values. And as I'm sure you know, real stands for respectful, enabling, accountable, and lively. And so I wanna show you some of the things we're gonna do in the two face-to-face -face sessions we've got with each group this year. So for example, under the headline of accountability, we will be focusing on that a lot. How do you build peer-to-peer -peer accountability as well as manager to direct report? What does the culture of accountability mean and how can you do more of it without it being a dirty word and a painful word? Because in our research into management, we found a fascinating insight, which is that everyone wants to drive other people to be more accountable, but no one wants to hold themselves more to account. So we're gonna talk about self-accountability as well. It's not just about other people. So that's the A in real. A couple of other things we're gonna do sit under the L for lively. The first is having positive energy. Now, Redkite is doing an incredibly important job with a quite a serious issue around cancer and children, etc. And I think that doesn't mean that you can't have the right kind of positive culture and be the right kind of positive manager where you get the most out of your team, enjoy your workplace, and you know, thrive in some of the serious challenges that get put in front of you and your team. So, so positive energy is gonna be a big part of it. And the third area we're gonna focus on this year is around problem solving. So clearly any manager's role involves a lot of problems landing on your plate via your team or directly that you need to solve. This is happening every day for all of us, small problems, big problems. And yet research shows that we often fail to truly diagnose what the underlying issue is. Uh, we fail to consider enough options when we're trying to solve it. So that unit of the course is going to be super interesting to really equip you to be what you might call a black belt problem solver. The kind of person your team want to turn to to help them solve problems and how can you help them in turn solve their own problems more as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about the format of the training. So I've been running training courses for about six years, run 350 workshops in that time and so we've learned quite a lot about what works. Now in our first session I'm going to ask you how you like to be trained, because every group is slightly different. But there are some common themes I would suggest to you. The first is that I'm not gonna do all the talking. I'm not gonna have hundreds and hundreds of slides and talk at you and tell you what you should do. I'm gonna take your problems and help you talk about with your peers how you might solve them. And yes, I'm gonna introduce some best practice from, from research and scientific evidence and, and my experience as a manager of managing teams of up to 20. But really it's about helping you solve your management challenges. Okay, so the format is very interactive. It's discussion-based, it's about peer-to-peer -peer learning, as well as you know, frameworks and best practice. So highly interactive. Um, I mentioned that we're gonna solve some real issues. So we want you to bring in the real challenges you're facing and be in the training room in an environment where you can talk about those issues confidentially and respectfully and try and solve some of them. So that's gonna be important that we have that kind of environment in the training course. And I think you'll really benefit from discussing real issues rather than theories, okay? And I think the final thing I'll say about the format is the stuff we're going to try and do is evidence-based. So there are some pretty good pieces of research about there about what works in management. Millions of people all over the world are managing other people, other humans, and that has been studied. So we're going to try and do some stuff that's really going to work for you so you've got the confidence to go out and 
try some new behaviors in real life. No matter how effective you are as a manager at the moment, there's always something new for you to try. So an important part of the course is gonna be, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna teach you and help you learn and facilitate some learnings in the course. But it ultimately, it's up to you to take those learnings outside the training room and try something and get feedback on how you're going. So to that point, what are my expectations of the people that are gonna be on the course, that yourself and, and your colleagues? So number one, get involved, right? Now we know there are lots of different personality styles. Not everyone likes to be the person always answering the questions and that's totally fine. But I will wanna hear from everyone in different ways. So don't feel like you're gonna get put on the spot, but I really wanna hear what you think and not just the loud people, but also the quiet people. So we'll find ways of bringing everyone's voice out. So please get involved and uh, bring your true self to there and have a good chat with your peers about what's going on in your management career. The second thing I think is to be accountable for what happens after the course. So, so once we've done our training session, what happens after that is largely up to you. Your manager can give you some support. I will be available if you need a little bit of help from me. But it's largely it's down to you. Are you gonna really implement the things that you said really inspired and, and, and you thought were gonna be useful? So I'll be holding you to account for doing that between the two sessions. Now what did you do after the last session? So. I hope that's given you an insight to what's going to happen in the training course. Unfortunately, we're not going to be having the course at the beach. I'm just filming this because it's near my office. But we will be having it at Red Kite offices, which obviously are much better than the old offices. So I'm looking forward to being with you to have some really highly interactive, productive uh, sessions on a really important skill that I hope sets you on track to be the best possible manager that you can be. So for now, thank you, and I'll see you in March.